there may or may not have been a chance that the uh, the newest host of Meet the Press uh, was a uh, uh, could have been John Stewart. According to the uh, the New Yorker's Daily Intelligence Intelligencer blog, uh, John Stewart may have been considered to anchor Sunday talk show Meet the Press. Several sources have leaked that uh, De that Deborah Turnus, uh, president of NBC News, reached out to Stewart for the gig. Uh, we may never know for sure if this is just hearsay or not. Uh, however, uh, you know we've had several sources have uh, have you know confirmed this, but they're all anonymous, and uh, uh, neither NBC nor Stewart have confirmed or denied the rumors. Uh, so Haven, um, you know, John Stewart has proven time and time again that uh, he's more than you know just a one-liner. He's more than just a joke. Uh, you know, he's shown us that he's got the chops to put on a decent inter uh, interview. Uh, would you have watched Meet the Press with John Stewart? No, I wouldn't, because it's Meet the Press, and I feel like it would. I love the Daily Show because it's the one bastion of truth, and it's the one place that would actually reach a lot of the stoners that watch Comedy Central in between South Park and whatever other crazy Key and Peele show that's going on. So I think I personally wouldn't watch it. I love The Daily Show. I love that he puts other people on the map, and I don't think that that would be able, he would be able to continue to do that with Meet the Press. I think, you know, our future John Olivers and and um, Stephen Colbert's would probably not happen if he's not there to, to make that happen. So uh, so you don't think he would have overcome the format? You think the format would have overcome him? Is that kind of what I'm getting from you? Yeah, with Meet the Press, yes. I think that it, they probably would have pulled what they did to, to Jenk and, and fired him eventually. Because I know one thing that politicians don't like is being held to the fire. And I don't know if anybody's ever seen John Stewart's infamous crossfire with uh, Tucker Carlson, but he he's kind of a, a very good craftsman when it comes to making people set themselves up and make themselves look stupid. And I'm I guarantee you they would not want that to happen on Meet the Press. I would I would be scared that they would try to contain him in some way, form or fashion. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about you, Jules? Who wins uh, in uh, if in this uh, fantasy scenario? Does John Stewart overcome the format, or uh, does he get bogged down by the machine? I don't think it's a matter of him overcoming the format so much as um, folks watching it. I don't think that his audience is one that is geared for that time frame. Um, it's definitely not um, a situation that he would do good in, I don't think. Um, his, he's too witty and does too many jabs to do well in that format, and he wouldn't last long. I cannot even believe that they would have um, suggested that he be part of that um, program because it wouldn't work. I mean, it's just, I mean, I don't even see in what dimension this would work in because he's so um, he's so much not the stiff suit kind and that's what they're really looking for I think more in that situation someone that's not going to buck the system and he bucks the system yeah I think that's a that's a, a fair critique um, obviously you know Sunday middle of the day or early day End of the day, really, any time you know on a on one of the big network shows on Sunday, it's it's a lot harder to get away with uh, what you know is really what John Stewart's really succeeded at, uh, you know, than it is at midnight on Comedy Central. Um, then also, I think, uh, not that everybody on these news stations isn't just you know a paid paid news actor, but we have to remember as well, like. A lot of what we like about John Stewart isn't necessarily John Stewart; it's the writing staff at The Daily Show, and so you know we have to assume he'd lose some of that staff. Uh, you know, and as good as he is on some of those interviews, it, that's also only you know a third of the show or whatever. The rest of the show is a monologue that was written by somebody else, and you know that format is obviously not going to carry over, uh, at least not 100% to something like Meet the Press. So yeah, I don't know that it's. It's the uh, the best call for me to press or or for John Stewart. Um, any uh, any closing thoughts for anybody before we move up? I would say in a dream world, it would be perfect for him to be on the press. Like he would be the perfect person 
because he asks the right questions and he's not so far removed from the thoughts of an average day person that, you know, he would be quick and right on his feet. But uh, I think that what he does for in the information age and for the, the millennials that aren't really, you know, that are very disillusioned, you, we get a little bit more truth and a way better balance of information to us just on Comedy Central because I, apparently nobody takes them that seriously. 